Good evening, YouTube. Thanks for tuning back into the channel tonight, right here with me, the Rust Belt Mechanic. As you can see, tonight we've decided to change up venues a little bit. The Nifty Tools of the Week is going to be held right here at my house because we're talking at-home Nifty Tools. This week I had a whole lot of projects here at the house, so I figured why not do an episode featuring some of the Nifty Tools that I've used here at home for some of my at-home projects. Not just the automotive stuff at the work, but right here in the house to be able to help me to get through my jobs here. So hopefully you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get into some tools. First nifty tool that we're going to come to is this work sharp outdoor blade sharpening kit uh, mostly indoor and outdoor as you can see here on the tag we ended up buying this one for 89 bucks a couple of weeks ago which is a pretty decent deal i use this one from everything from my pocket knives all the way down to the cutlery inside that we use for the butcher block and everything along those lines this is a really nice kit what comes in it it comes with your sharpening bit right here. It does come with multiple different bands. This is a nice tensioned adjustable band style sharpener. It's plugging into your standard 110 volt outlet and then sharpens everything from knives. Also has a little edge right here for a 65 degree angle for sharpening those scissors as well. The kit is also gonna come with an extra five or six different little bands for sharpening those blades your instruction manual, some extra ordering booklets, and a couple of extra little add-ons to it so you make sure that you are sharpening your blades at the correct angles. They do have different angles. They have, uh, looks like 20 degree ones on there, 25 degree ones there, and 65 degree ones on the standard head. Uh, these uh, little bands they do last for quite a while i'm able to get right around five to six full sharpenings in and that's different rounds with different knives so five times five 25 different sharpenings of those knives they are this tool is very nice we're going to plug it into the workbench here got a standard on switch or it's got a pulse so you can just pulse it and run it as much as you need to the tension is adjustable there on the bands as well. All in all, it's a very nice sharpening tool. Very nice for the price, easier than using a whetstone. Something that you guys will find lots of use for in your house and toolbox. Next up on our nifty tools is going to be the Milwaukee 4889-4631 23-piece drill bit kit. Now this drill bit kit is their shockwave style impact drill bits. They are heat resistant, they are impact resistant, impact rated. So they're made to get really hot, go really fast and use with an impact driver. What I like about these over standard drill bits is that they are the quarter inch hex key insertion. The standard drill bits that are just round, they don't always grab into the standard drill chucks as easily. These will fit in a standard drill chuck and they also will fit into a quarter inch impact driver as well. Locks into place very nice and easy in those and I've used these for quite a different a a few applications. I've used them in steel, drywall, I've even used them in concrete. I know, yeah, you're not supposed to use them in concrete. They make nice and merry bits for it, but in a pinch, they do work. I've yet to break one, and I think they've held up absolutely fantastic. It's very nice to be able to switch out, especially in a quarter-inch impact driver set, and the 30 or the 23-piece set is pretty comprehensive. It goes all the way from 1 16th of an inch all the way up to the 1 half inch drill bit set right here, all in this nice compact case that seals up, locks away, and is able to go anywhere you guys want it without having any of these things fall out or lose them either. 
Milwaukee does sell these individually, so if you happen to lose or break one, you can just purchase them individually as needed as well. Really awesome price. Uh, these are running right at $30.87 right now on Amazon. So pretty decent buy. If you guys are able to find them on a better deal, usually, see when I bought this one, it was day after Thanksgiving, and I got them right at like 21 bucks, which is a fantastic deal. So if you can find it for that price, jump on it. These tools will not disappoint you. In following those awesome drill bits is going to be the Royobi P239 brushless quarter inch impact driver. This one from the Royobi line is probably one of my very favorite tools to use. Quarter inch chucked key so you're able to put those drill bits, uh, any other kinds of quarter inch hex bits. Uh, I do like that the light here on the bottom is super bright, so as soon as you touch the trigger, it does come on. As compared to some of my stuff at the shop, the snap-on ones, I don't like that those, when you hit the trigger, you kind of have to have your finger on the trigger, trigger part of the way for that light to come on. As soon as you touch the trigger on this one, the light comes on and stays on for five to 10 seconds. Uh, the power on this one is absolutely awesome awesome. I've used it in quite a few projects before. As you saw here in the garage, it's able to hammer in uh, big studs into the wall, big lag bolts down into concrete. It's handled just about everything that I've thrown at it. And for the tool only, this one running right now is right at like 43 bucks compared to some of those Milwaukee and Snap-on. They are, that is an absolute steal. Now, as far as durability, I don't know because I don't use this in a day-to-day -day kind of circumstance. I don't use this in the, like the harsh environment inside of the shop. I use this at home when I need it and it hasn't failed me yet. So for that one, I would, I guess, at least give it a four star on the reliability. It's never had any issues with that one. I've had it for about a year now and I would definitely recommend that one for you. If you guys are in the Royobi line already, which as you can see from before, I do have plenty of Ryobi tools at home and they've always run the same 18 volt battery system, which has been absolutely amazing as well. Maybe I'll do some more reviews on some other Ryobi tools here in the future also, but this is definitely one you need to have in your arsenal. Last but certainly not least for my at home nifty tools of the week is gonna be my gear wrench ratcheting wrench set. Let's see it you guys a somewhat close up here. Uh, this, I actually started off with a base kit of the seven piece ratchet wrench set. Now that one, you're not gonna be too impressed because it's gonna be missing a couple of major sizes in there for you, 18 millimeter being one of them. So you might wanna do a little bit of an upgrade from that one. The standard kit comes with the seven piece set, like I said. I do like that these are the 180 degree flex head ratcheting wrenches. They do have the 12 tooth ratcheting wrench here up at the top, and then the nice open end box end, box end wrench there at the other end. Uh, these do have as little as five degrees of play before they end up clicking before you. So it is a very fine tooth ratchet. You know, it's not gonna be your big snap-ons or your Mac wrenches or your Matco ones, the really fancy, nice ratcheting wrenches. But for the price of these at home wrenches, these are fantastic and I reach for these almost every kind of chance that I have on working on vehicles or working around the home, I just end up grabbing these. I don't like that they aren't a reversing, so if I need to reverse it, well, I guess I just gotta flip it around, but that isn't really that hard. But for an at-home wrench, this set works out really nice. The seven-piece set runs 49 bucks right now on Amazon, but like I said, you might wanna add a couple of more. Uh, if you wanna run the whole set that runs from eight all the way up to 21, I believe, that one right now is running a, right at 162 bucks on Amazon. The seven-piece set you can pick up for 50 bucks. Another great set, something that you would really like to have for either a beginner tech or just starting out, uh, or you just have for these for here at home, I would definitely recommend to have these around. And in keeping with good faith with shouting out a couple of nice younger channels to YouTube, some of the smaller ones that are diamonds in the rough, some of those ones that you guys just may not have heard of. They just need their chance in the light to shine. This week we're gonna showcase Straight Six Fan. A couple of weeks ago, I gave a shout out and have done some stuff on their channels for Old Car Auto Guy. Every single week, Straight Six Fan and Old Car Auto Guy, they do a kind of live stream 
in which they talk about automotive news, hacks for their channels, helping each other out, and just in general, their community's awesome. Straight Six Man, he does some budget-minded builds for the guys who are more of the DIY kind of guy. He does have a great mind at it. He is a mechanic at heart, and he always helps out to try to give you guys the best information possible. He does some really cool Fox body things on his channel. Might be something that you guys really need to check out. I would go ahead and give him a look. Well, that's about all I've got for you guys today. I appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this version of my at-home nifty tools of the week. I do apologize that this last weekend we did not get a video out for you. I had planned on doing some Duramax content for you, but the flu bug ended up getting me instead. So I do apologize about that one, but I did end up doing some stuff earlier on this week for some fuel upgrades and some major needed things for the Duramax as well. So that video you will be seeing on this weekend, most likely Friday evening or Saturday. So if you guys are enjoying that Duramax content in the big Duramax build, you guys will wanna be able to pay attention for that one. I appreciate it again. As always, you guys are awesome and I appreciate all the help and love that you guys have given this channel. We're on our way up to a 14,000 subscribers right out there right now. So thank you. Give you guys a big thumbs up for that one. As always, I appreciate it. You guys stay awesome.